Good morning guys and girls and welcome to Hunky Dory TV. It is 10 a.m. It's Monday morning and that can only mean one thing. It is time for the craft show and a very special craft show today. Uh, my name's Daniel Newhouse. I will be your host for the hour. I have a little friend to the side of me uh, producing our show named Emily. Say hello, Emily. Hey, good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Um, and I have a, 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 a very good new person, new person, new friend to show you today. <laughs> a new person. She's brand new. She's just created for today's show. We've got a new guest. Um, Sheila was going to be with us today. Sheila can't be with us, but we have a good friend of ours who has stepped into the breach. Uh, her name is Rachel Jones. Please let me introduce you. This is Rachel. Hello. Ah, good morning, Rachel. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Excellent. Now, Rachel, people will know your work, yeah. I'm sure, because anyone who gets our magazine yep. will have seen your cards because yep. you feature a lot in the magazine. Yeah. You yeah. do. You make a lot of cards for us. And you've yeah, been with, how long have you been with Honky Dory? Um, about a year and a half. year and a half? I went on maternity leave for about six, seven months, so. Oh. But, yeah, about and a year so, and a half. maternity leave, so you have yeah. a little boy. Yes, And he's yeah. called? Little, um, he's called Theo. And is he wonderful or is he a monster? He's a little monster. He's, <laughs> he's a little terror, but he's such a cute little boy. Though. Does he take after he's, his mum or his dad? He, he's, oh, he's got his temper like his dad. Has he really? As, as soon as he's hungry, he's, uh, <laughs> so letting you know and tired, getting oh, yeah. so grumpy, but. He's, he's, he's a lovely boy, oh, Now, he's your dulcet cute. tones tell me that you are not from <laughs> Preston. No, I'm not, no. You're from Midlands somewhere? Right, from, uh, well, from Birmingham. Yeah, yeah. Parents live on the edge. So oh, lovely. I'd like say that we're from Worcester. But <laughs> <laughs> you say whatever you want. <laughs> Guys, this is Rachel. Um, please, will you welcome Rachel? Uh, she's going to be demonstrating for us today in what is a super craft along show. Um, so we're going to be looking at our club gift, which is the miracle of Christmas. Um, I, th I suppose I should get the bad news out of the way straight away, shouldn't I? Yeah. Our club gift sold out over the weekend. It has gone. It is no longer available. Our logic was that we do this lovely craft along with it, which is great because everyone's got this at home, or most people will have this at home, which is brilliant. That's why we're crafting along. Um, but we hoped as well that people would be able to pick it up yeah. while they were watching the show. The bundle, there is a special bundle that includes some of the extra items that go with this kit is still available, but only in tiny, tiny numbers. Um, so that there's every, every chance that that will sell out during the show as well. So, um, wow, it's brilliant. Uh, I think you're going to really, really enjoy it. Right, should we take a look at what is coming up on today's show? Here we go. On today's show, we've got a brand new Win It Weekly. I'm excited to show you uh, what it is that we're giving away this week. Um, how many are we giving away of these, Emily? Five. Five. So we get £100 worth of goodies that we're giving away. Really exciting. Uh, we'll show you that in a second. We're going to go and have a look at our club gift, The Miracle of Christmas, which is a beautiful kit. Um, I know so many of you have this at home now, and people will be crafting along with us today. Um, it'll be nice to get it uh, to see it being used, which is lovely. Um, we're going to have our craft along with Rachel, uh, and then we're going to look at the Hunky Dory headlines. And we're also today, quite exciting and a bit new, we've got the Maker's Gallery. So we've got a little gallery of cards that have been made uh, by people at home, uh, by yourself, our viewers. Uh, welcome and thank you for being with us today. Please uh, let us know how you are. Are you having a nice Monday? Is it a good start to your week? Hopefully it's a good start with us here. Right, number one, shall we take a look first at our Win It Weekly question? Here we go. Like, share and comment to be in with a chance of winning this product. We would like you to finish the catchphrase. Don't cry over spilt A, is it glue? B, is it wine? That's me. <laughs> C, is it milk? Don't cry over spilt glue wine or milk okay if you get the answer to that question right you are within in with the chance of winning this let's take a look this is our true blue luxury topper collection now i know you you really love this one don't you Rachel? yeah I, I absolutely love it it's, and it's i heard a rumor famous. that that you are the person who made the cards yes oh, that are and the friend on the inspiration sheet Isn't yeah that lovely? Isn't that lovely? Um, and this was already picked, so it's not something that we just picked just because <laughs> Rachel's here, so that's lovely. So Rachel made all those gorgeous cards. We always put an inspiration sheet in with our luxury card collections or indeed our luxury topper collections. Um, and, and this is a very pretty one. So the True Blue kit, one last look at the front there. Um, it's worth 19.99, guys. It's got eight, it says features eight toppers. It doesn't, there's eight topper sets in there. Uh, so in total, with this beautiful silver foil um, kit, you've got uh, eight topper sheets 
or with many, many, many die cut elements that can be pressed out. Uh, but you've also got eight sheets of um, foil card and eight sheets of printed card. So there's loads of awesome stuff in there. $19.99 it's worth five winners. When will we announce those winners? It'll be Friday at 10 a.m. on our Thankcraft It's Friday show. Uh, so you can, um, you can enter all through the week. You can also enter on the hub as well. Uh, okay, so that's our Win It Weekly. And good luck to everyone. Um, and congratulations to everybody who won last week on our, our massive. We did eight winners, each won £80 worth of goodies. Uh, congratulations to you all. But every week we do a Win It Weekly, you can always be in with a chance of winning. So please, please do let us know um, your comment. Okay. Second thing to look at, let's get rid of all the due diligence and then we can move on to some crafting with Rachel. Uh, let's take a look at our pick of the week. No video. <laughs> Ho hum. <laughs> pick of the week, Flourishing Florals Designer Decolage Collection. Um, I absolutely love decolage and it's been super, super popular. This was launched at the end of last week, or the middle of last week, I think it was. Um, but it's really, really pretty. It's got some gorgeous die cut designs in here, especially I think this one, which is probably my favorite. And a card here yeah. I can show you. Isn't that delightful? Isn't that beautiful? So you're gonna see that this will go, um, this will work all year round. Uh, you've got decolage in here that is gonna be perfect for uh, winter cards, summer cards, spring cards, all the way through. But that is class. Uh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Okay, uh, you like you like decolage, don't you, Rachel? Yeah, yeah. So you can um, you you know you can put not that many layers on if you want, and you can make some really nice cards from it. I make as brilliant. many cards as you want. Because then you choose as much as many layers as you yeah. like. Or as, yeah, okay. That and especially the, with the flower ones as well, and it's good as well because on the backing card you can take some of the layers off and you can pop it onto the backing card as well. So this is the idea that the, the designs on the background cards are the same size wherever we yeah. can as the decolage is, which means that you can use that as your first layer and therefore use your topper somewhere else in your card making. So it's really classic decolage, yeah. everybody loves it. I won't go through all of these because I know you want to get to, uh, to the miracle of Christmas kit. But isn't it beautiful? Guys, I hope you're loving this. Uh, we know from the sales, from how many people have already bought this, that you are loving it. Uh, congratulations if you've got yours. Thank you very much. Uh, and we hope that it's with you very, very soon. Okay, that's our decollage and it's our pick of the week this week. Okay, we'll come back to it during the week, don't worry. Right, let's take a look. The miracle of Christmas. It's beautiful, this kit. We launched it about, well, it was, I think it was the 18th of August, if I remember correctly. Let's have a look at this. And it was, it was something a little bit different because we wanted mm -hmm. to go to look at the, uh, the, the real truth about Christmas or the, the truth about Christmas, that's, that's not right. The, um, the miracle yeah, of Christmas. The miracle of Christmas, <laughs> the, the real theme of Christmas. And pe people have been asking us for this. So we wanted something that was religious, uh, but also is perfect for people who aren't religious. You can still utilize this and use yeah. this and send this. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. Mary, it's very stylized, it's contemporary. The colours, I think, are beautiful in this. Yeah, I do like the colours. And it's good as well, because like, it was the first time that I've really looked at it this morning. And like, just looking at the sheets, you can cut it down, and there's different elements where you can like build up scenes. It I, just looks really good. I love these, where you've got the, the sort of triple frame here. I think it's yeah. beautiful, triple frame, you should say. It's absolutely gorgeous. But the cardstock's beautiful as well, and yeah. beautifully foiled. You can just see the gentle gold foiling in the stars there. It's ever so pretty. This is printed onto our original adorable scoreable cardstock, which is beautiful cardstock. It's uh, it's so it, it's become it's become a classic really yeah. as, one, as, as yeah, adorable has, scoreable, yeah. isn't it? It's gorgeous. Look at this, and I love the sentiments as well. Uh, Glory to the newborn king, of course. Look at the gorgeous. There's the yeah. the big star in the sky, but repeated across. It's beautiful. Yeah, and there's kind of this sort of sponged effect in the background, isn't there? It's really, really yeah. pretty. Yeah, it is. It's pretty. lovely. There you go. That's one of my favourites because you've got the triptych oh, there as well. Yeah. Very pretty. You've got sentiments with this. You think about how many sheets you've seen here. Right, guys, so this was 
uh, only £2.99 you could get this just for your postage. Now in that Miracle of Christmas bundle, and I'll show you the other products that are in the bundle a little later in the show, but you can get, with this, you can get your inserts, you can get your Miracle of Christmas adorable scoreable selection, and you can get your bite-sized little book, which is gorgeous, all together for £11.99, which is a phenomenal deal. So you're still getting this free, but you get a great deal on these upsells as well, these, um, these accoutrements that go with your kit. Got it in there, yes. <laughs> Every time I try and use the word, it, we win him. Um, okay, so if you want that, eleven ninety nine, you get everything I've shown you there, plus everything that I'm going to show you later in the show. Uh, but first off, let's get over to Rachel and let's meet with her for her first demonstration. Right, so I'm going to make a 6x6 six six card, but first of all I'm going to start with an 8x8 eight eight card blank. So I'm going to just cut it down to... So now... So you're starting with an 8x8 eight eight yeah. and you're trimming off to make it a 6 by 8 Is that just because that's what you've got on hand? No, no. So, hey, I, so I'm going to do like a little step a bit at the front. Oh, okay. So, but I just thought it'd be easier to do an 8x8 eight eight first okay, and then cut sense. it down. So I've cut it down so it's 6x8 and I'm just going to get my scoreboard and then I'm just going to open it up and then on the side I'm just going to measure one inch and two inch like that and then and oh right you can that, do that will fold ah yes do a, a mountain fold I think it is or tent yes, fold yes yes either way and then on with the other side I'm just going to cut two inches off okay so you've used so you ended up with Eight inches on, on one side and six inches yeah. on the other because you've used that. You've That's created it. That, so that makes sense. So then if you cut the two inches off, then now it's a six by six card with a little... But with a, a step at a the front. A little step at Excellent. the front. Excellent. So you used a pink scoreboard. Is that your favourite or are you the purple scoreboard? Um, I don't know really. Um, I, know, I do like the purple. Purple's my favourite colour. Is it? But I do like the pink because it's there's not that many of them. There are. I so think uh, with, with purple, is it? It's like a rule, a house rule, that everyone's favourite colour has yeah. to be purple, doesn't it? Working at Onky Dory. <laughs> <laughs> it must be the same with Crafter's Companion as well, I guess. Yeah, that's true. So I'm just going to cut my gold mirror down to six by six, and then I've also got the foiled card. So with the foil card. We're going to cut the top. Do, do I turn around? No, no, Is that all right? Fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I'm fine. just going to cut this image out. So I just got my craft knife. Oh, a bit of fussy. Right. So your craft knife. Yeah. Um, yeah. So craft knife or scissors? You you sit on the craft knife fence, do you? I do. Yeah. I think it's so much easier just to use a craft knife. I agree with you as well. And I think sometimes when you go round with scissors, you can sort of damage the, the yeah. you know, it bends it a little bit as you do, but with yeah. the craft knife, you keep it, everything flat. Well, that's it. I think because the card's quite thick, if you go round with scissors, then you, you'll see it more where you have cut out. So because some parts are quite small, I'm not going to cut all of it. So it's going to cut round here. We've got a couple of people questioning, where is Sheila? Uh, Sheila just couldn't make it in today, guys. She will be in with us later this week, and Sheila is perfectly well, so please do not worry. Um, obviously, whenever there's a change to schedule, people say, oh, what's going on? Uh, <laughs> Sheila's totally well, and she'll be, she'll be in later on this week. Don't worry. You stuck with me. We're now. not stuck <laughs> with you, Rachel. It's, uh, it's, we're very, very thankful <laughs> and, um, that you jumped in for us. It's really kind. Which is good because we've been wanting to get you on for quite some yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, I have been bugging Natalie. I've been going, when can I do Facebook Live? It's great. And so then she messaged me saying, can you do Facebook Live? I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, <then>. okay. <laughs> so like, are you nervous? Not? Have you been nervous? Um, yes. Yeah, I've, I think a bit because I, I was like, I, d I don't know what to do. Like, I haven't really seen this kit other than this morning because uh, we've been working at home. So I was a bit like, I don't know what the kit looks like, but actually I looked at it and I was like, yeah, I know Which what to do. Which is amazing because usually everyone manages to get the hand yeah. on the free gift. So you must just just have, have um, been working on something else at the time. Oh, yes. Yeah, I've been, uh, we've been working on so much at home and there's been so much that's still been launched. And 
it's now that I, crazy. I suppose now that there are so so well, there's none of this left, and there are so few of that of that um, uh, larger bundle. Uh, we can say that we've ha we have been also working on the next kit. Yes. Now you have been working oh, on the next I've been kit working because on you came in on, <laughs> on fri Friday, Friday yeah. and picked it up. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it, it's. I love it. Do it's, you really? That's. I excellent. think it's got to be one of my favourite club kits. Oh really? So, oh, yeah. That's lovely news. It's just so cute and. Oh, you've given it away colours. there. What it's oh. going to be. <laughs> People yeah. absolutely love the club gift. It's um, and I love that we do it. It's I think it's yeah. Brilliant. No, it is really nice because you can make so many cards from it, and it's actually surprising when you get the kit home of how many you can make. And getting it for just the postage price. Of yeah, that's it. Is, it's incredible. It's, it's it's so worth it. It's one of the one of the best things we do, I think, and we won't stop doing it. No, uh, I, no, no, definitely not. I know it costs us a lot of money, but I think it's really it's, well worth it. I think yeah. just people being able to to craft with uh, with our product, but at such a good price or or yeah. great, is, uh, is is it's really important. I think, especially in, in you know times and like they are at the moment. Yeah, that's it. And you can buy like all the other stuff to go with it as well. Oh. So you normally you can do like stamps it. and yeah, and just it just goes so far. Getting some lovely comments, Rachel. Oh, thank oh. you. <laughs> so I've just cut. So I've cut that out. So now this is going to go at the front of my card like that, and then I've also cut the remainder so it fits on the mat. Now I'm a bit rubbish with these. So it's, it's two two lines yes. um, below notches. the six. Two yeah. notches. That's two notches below the six. <laughs> so I'm just going to stick this on. So let's see. We'll see when it's on. Whether so, whether you have a quarter. What do you have? Is it a quarter, an eighth of an inch all the way around, or? Um, oh, I, th I think it. I, I'm not too sure. You're I think it's sure. a quarter of an inch. No, it's an eighth of an inch. That it looks like an eighth of an inch. An thing. eighth, yeah. I'm absolutely rubbish with uh, it. It's so because you just do it like naturally when you just making cards, yeah. So just going to stick this. So do you love double-sided tape then? Yes. <laughs> and that doesn't look like fingerless tape, is it fingerless? No, it's not. But no, you're doing but really it, well but with it's it. So good. I, th I think I'm used to it now, but to be fair, I have used tape before when it's it's been so hard to get the the backing off. But with this one, you, you just get it off like so fast. Right. So, because when I've put it on, you can still see a little bit of the card blank, I'm just going to cut this down to just below one inch. Okay. So then that can go onto the front and you won't be able to see the card blank. Diane Marchand says, this is such a fabulous kit. It's great to get a religious theme and the colours are wonderful. I think you're right. The colours are yeah. absolutely beautiful on this. And you don't often see kits with a religious theme anymore it you, you just don't get them you can't get them so it was one of the the real driving factors for us yeah. creating this kit i think as well which is super yeah i think just like the colors in it and it it is really nice dawn heath says you're doing amazingly rachel nice to see a yeah, new face thank you <laughs> amanda speller says it's lovely to see you rachel can't wait to, to see the creations you come up with Live, your magazine makes are always lovely. Oh, they are that's lovely. Brilliant. Thank you. They are brilliant. Right, so now we've got oh that way. So now we've got this at the front. So I'm just gonna have a look at the topper sheet. And see I was gonna go I might go for this one because it's a different image but it will still all match. And with it having like the cream background it will stand out. So I think I'm gonna put that there. Um now a sentiment, I think I'm going to go for this one which is away in the manger. All right, I'm just going to get some foam pads on this. So you had, before the show, because you only found out that you were doing the craft yeah. yesterday. Yes, it was a um, bit of a surprise. It was, it was, but well, it's a, a nice surprise hopefully. Oh definitely, yeah. And this morning, so you've, you've only really got to play with your kit this morning. Yeah. Now, obviously, you, you craft as it's your job, so yep. you know you you are. You do, but how did it? Did your ideas come to you quickly, or? Um, well, I think what I like to do is I like to cut stuff off the the topper sheets, like cut into the toppers and the, the cardstock as well. So I, I had a look at the cardstock, and 
I was like, oh, I can cut this away. So, and then that's how like stuff comes to my head. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. But there's so much different stuff on here though. It's, it's in really this kit. good. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah great, it, it is. I was like, oh, I don't know why I have to do this. And I thought, oh no, I'll do that. <laughs> and I was umming and ahhing, but I thought, right, I'm going to do this. So I'm just going to stick that sentiment there. Um, I've got some gems. Yep, got some gems. So I'm just going to put some gems just underneath, underneath the sentiment. So we'll go for the large blue um, pearl gems. Just going to put them there. Yeah, we're still out of stock of the, the, the standard pearls, but those blue ones, they are in stock and they really match well. They are, they, they really do. Right, and there you go. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I love that. Turn it around and show it at the Thank front you. as well. That's lovely. Okay, so you just get that bit of sort of dimension because yeah. you've got it at the front, which is lovely, yep. that little stepper at the front. And that was quite an easy way to make a stepper. So yeah. we we start with an 8x8 card and then just chop and into then, it yeah. and it creates the stepper, which is super. Very nice, very nice. You've Thank caught you. me having a polo, so I do apologise <laughs> if I'm if I'm crunching as we go along. Okay, let's. that's our first demo. We'll let Rachel get ready for our second demo and I will show you a couple of, of these upsell products. Or indeed, what you get in your Miracle of Christmas bundle. So we took a look at the start of the show at the Miracle of Christmas uh, Deluxe card collection, which is worth $9.99, but comes in free with either with this or indeed with your club gift when you can buy them, um, which at the minute you can't because it's out of stock. This is in stock, this is the, the, the bundle. Okay, so let's take a look at these. These are your inserts and papers. So you get in this, you get how many inserts it should tell me, and it doesn't? It. Eight, eight inserts and eight different papers. Thank you. Eight different inserts and eight different papers. Emily has done her prep and I have clearly not. Uh, there you go. So you'll notice that these are often a watermark version of the cardstock. Does that make sense? Uh, because then everything ties in throughout. There we go. So you saw that, that just earlier on in the cardstock, but now you see it in this, uh, in this 140 GSM uncoated in, uh, perfect for inserts. So you're going to chop these up and be able to put them inside your cards. It just finishes it nicely. So instead of it being just a plain white inside to your card, it's not. It's got these gorgeous inserts. Now what we do with our club gift, as well as doing inserts, we also do these lovely backing papers. So again, we're talking eight sheets of backing papers, but they're double sided. There we go. So you get two sides to play with. Uh, you only get one of each, so you can choose either or, or indeed, if you're making car uh, smaller cards, you're chopping these down, you get to use them both. But they've all been designed to go perfectly with... You can, oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, I like that one. I really like that. That's very nice. I like this one. This one's my favourite. So I think that, you could make a card that's with that, beautiful. couldn't you, quite easily? Oh, of course, chopping yeah. Chopping into that, and then layering that up. Yeah, um, definitely. It would look lovely. I like that a lot. And, a, and sort of a small version of it, which yeah. again is upside down. I don't know what's going on here. There we go. But all of this, guys, comes in with this bundle at £11.99, which is an incredible price uh, for all this. It would normally be £21.98. Wow. But because it's got that club gift in, it isn't. So there you go. That's your inserts and your papers that come in with this bundle. Let's also take a look at the Miracle of Christmas Adorable Scorable selection. Again, on our original Adorable Scorable, which I think works so beautifully with this yeah. kit. I don't think it would have been quite as nice. I love Mattastic, it's a gorgeous yeah. thing. Uh, but this kit really, really works with, yeah. uh, with the original Adorable yeah, Scorable. It does, yeah. uh, so these are, are all the colours that are inside this kit. You might not think the orange is in there, but it is. Uh, some gorgeous colours here. Pretty. 350 GSM, A4 sheets. And you've got the lovely red there and the blues as well. It's very pretty. So these will coordinate and contrast with your kit. They've been chosen by the designer of the kit to work perfectly. Uh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely. One that goes so well with it's it. It's really important, isn't it? Yeah. Certainly. You can see there's Christmas colours in here, but it's also kind of vintage Christmas as well in there, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, love that. Lovely red. Very pretty. Okay, so this is in there as well, the original Adorable Scoreboard, 350 GSM, guaranteed not to crack when you use it with our Adorable Scoreboard, and something that I know you want to look at. Now, when we do our club gifts, or when we launch our club gifts, we launch them with upsells, as you can see, they're called upsells, 
It's a strange name. It's actually the name that Create and Craft use for the products that go with yeah. or coordinate with a kit. So for some reason, it's just worked its way into our <laughs> uh, vocabulary. Uh, but these uh, accoutrements, I think we should call them. It's a much nicer <laughs> word. Accoutrement. Uh, yes. So we have you have inserts, and uh, the inserts have sold out. You have adorable scoreable, and the adorable scoreable. I think there's a handful left. That's probably going to be gone wow. by the end of the show. And this time we've got a bite-sized little book. Which the bite-sized little books are brilliant. They're four pound ninety-nine, and it's like a slimline version. Who doesn't like a slimline? Yeah. <laughs> a slimline version of our little books, uh, still with gorgeous and great artwork in it. So there's seventy-two pages in here. In a little book you get one hundred and forty-four pages for twice the price, and this is seventy-two pages for half the price. So this is four ninety-nine. It's lovely that we've got that code up there. It is out of stock. Um, <laughs> I know this is crazy, people doing shows with out of stock products, but it just goes to show how popular our goodies are. And you should grab your club gift when you get the opportunity because they do sell out and they sell out quickly. Now you're gonna get to have a closer look at the artwork that is in this. It's really, really pretty. Oh, look at that, isn't that beautiful? Oh, the colors in that, and that's where the orange come in really well. It would work that. perfectly, wouldn't it? Yeah. So you can see that, I mean, you straight away you're looking at cutting out apertures and, and yeah. having that inside the aperture, it's really beautiful. Look at that, isn't it lovely? So this has, it's not glossy, it's got like a silk sheen to it, this, uh, this paper here. Absolutely lovely, look at that. So again, it's, it's, and I'm sure I'm doing it, I'm wobbling around a little bit, it's not easy to show these, um, these little books, I'm afraid, or, or bite-sized books. Uh, and there's the nativity at the very front there as well. Look at, I mean, that's just a beautiful composition of artwork, isn't it? Very, very mm. pretty. Let's see what else we've got in here. And there's the angels proclaiming the birth. Amazing. I love this. Guys, let us know, um, have you crafted yet with your club gift? Or have you got your club gift out and you've got it out with us right now? That would be lovely. Let, please do let us know, look at this. So this is still available, it's not available on its own, the Bite Size Book, but it is part of this £11.99 Miracle of Christmas bundle. And you get multiples of all these sheets that I'm showing you here, multiples, multiples of all these sheets, which means that you can decoupage, uh, decoupage them, uh, it means you can chop into them, you can fussy cut them. It also means that if you wanted to, because there are 72, you could make 72 toppers just by popping these onto a piece of mirror card. Isn't that incredible? That is really good. Yeah. That's value. That is. Uh, be filled with wonder, be touched by peace, believe in the miracle. Absolutely. And that's a lovely sentiment. And I think that whether, yeah. you, whether you're a, uh, a Christian or whether you're religious, uh, it's a beautiful sentiment. Um, or not, it's still a beautiful sentiment. May I, you have the gift of faith, the blessing of hope, and the peace of love. Isn't it beautiful? And then, of course, that absolute classic imagery there. I love that. It's all the patterns on her dress and the background, it's so beautiful. Gorgeous. Uh, Debbie said earlier on that she believes that this is her favourite. Oh. Uh, I think it was Debbie Bennett. I saw a, a message yeah. saying that this is her favourite club gift we've ever done. Yeah, I, uh, I think why. it's gorgeous. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Let's jump across to Rachel and see what she's going to do with... And are you, are you going to work with this? Yes, ah, yes, I'm going to do a demo. Okay, yeah. it couldn't have worked better. Thanks, Rachel. <laughs> right, so... Um, we're going to do a little card, so we're going to do a 5x5 five five card I'm going to use the matching double sided papers. Um, so I was just looking through and I couldn't really decide which one to use. Um, but then there was one that I thought, oh I can cut that down and then that will work really well on a 5x5, five five, which is this one. So I'm going to use three of the sheets. Now what I'm going to do first is... I'm going to just get the gold mirror and I'm going to cut it down to four by four. So you get six of each sheet. So Rachel here is using three sheets, yep. but because you get six of each sheet, you don't have to worry about being frugal with this. Yeah. And can you see that price, Eleven ninety-nine. That eleven ninety-nine is for everything we've shown you that is the miracle of Christmas on this show so far. So it includes the deluxe card collection, it includes those inserts, those papers, that adorable scoreboard, and that Miracle of Christmas bite-sized little book. 11 99 you can find it on our website if you go to hunkydorycrafts.co.uk. At the very top, if you hover over offers, 
you should see on the right hand side probably a club gift there and you'll be able to click on that and you will find this there. So I've just cut the little book page to two notches before, before the four and I'm just going to stick it to the mirror mat and, and then we're just going to cut some other layers from the other sheets and they're going to stick on top. Now I'm going to leave this to one side because we're going to use that as well. So just stick that down and it's going to take, see this is a scissor job I think. So we're just going to cut around this one. So we're going to cut out the whole of the picture. I do like your accent. Do you? No, I, can't, I, do. I don't like it. I really like it. It's quite soft, isn't it? It's quite soft. See, I, I think it sounds okay, and then I'd then I listen back to it and think, oh my God, that sounds absolutely terrible. Listening to yourself is terrible, <laughs> oh, honestly. Oh, I hate it. And you pick up, when you listen to yourself, you pick up on things that you say all the time. Yeah. And I say, and I'm sorry, people recognise, <laughs> I say, um, is, honestly, I need to lose that. Okay. I say okay yeah. all the time. Yeah, I like okay. saying okay. Okay, 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 okay. It's constant. And Natalie's is fantastic. Is Natalie's fantastic? <laughs> fantastic. And Marie's is excited. I'm excited about it. And Marie's excited about everything. <laughs> Natalie thinks everything's fantastic, and I think everything's just it's Okay. okay. <laughs> I, I like to say right. Right, right, right. <laughs> right, okay. I can't do your accent. I love doing accents, but I can't do yours. Oh, see, it's so strange moving up here because, like, my husband, he's from originally up north, and so is all his family. So it's so strange, like, hearing them all talk together. And so to you, it's strange. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's so weird. But then I go down back down to my parents and... I think, oh, is this what I sound like? <laughs> so, uh, do they think your voice has changed? Um, I so don't do you know. Not get told, oh, you sound like a northern man. No, I, I, I don't. I, I don't think you can change my accent. <laughs> well, it's quite strong, isn't it? So the strong yeah. accents don't tend yeah. to change. It's um, yeah. But I find that when I'm with someone who's got quite a strong yeah. accent, within so. half an hour, I'm starting to talk <laughs> like them. And then they're like, what, oh, why, that, why are you copying so me? Why are you making fun? You know, and I'm like, I'm not. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Oh dear. Right, so I've cut, so we've cut two layers. We've cut the big one and then we've cut the little one with the manger on. I'm just going to put some foam pads on the back of them. And some. So I'm using the strip foam pads and then I can cut them down to whatever size I want. Cut them. And so it's quite fast. When, when you're cutting out something easy lines like yeah. that, it's much faster, isn't it? Oh than, yeah, than, definitely. Than proper fussy cutting. There's a, but some people love fussy cutting. There was a lady earlier on yeah. that I was just reading saying that, saying, that oh, she she's, yeah. loves it. So Alison Bush has had an order from a friend for 15 religious Christmas cards. Oh, wow. And this came just at the right time so I can enjoy making them without having to rush. Brilliant. I'll make them all from this kit. It's perfect, love them. Thanks for the ideas. And that's brilliant. So if, yeah. I, if Alison's gonna make 15 cards, from a, from a free club gift, Easy. I think that's brilliant. I think that's fantastic. Uh, love that. Emma Louise Salisbury, um, I've started reading it. Sorry, I, it's like I'm blowing my own trumpet now. Um, Dan, I would just like to say that your customer service is excellent. Uh, our order was slightly wrong when delivered, but it's been sorted straight away Aww. with no issues, thank you. Uh, guys, occasionally uh, we do make mistakes. I know that yeah. the guys pride themselves on not doing, and they have numbers, so they have targets and numbers that they all try and work to to make sure that they, that they don't. Uh, and I know that they really kick themselves when, when they make mistakes because they, they just want people to have the goodies and, and be happy. Nothing wor worse is than when, when something arrives and it's not quite what you ordered. No. Oh. But they work so hard out there though. Oh, they really like, do, don't they? Where I, can sit, where I sit, I can see them and they're always running around and doing stuff. And so we sit in like a, it's, it's like a goldfish bowl, isn't it really? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. we've got, because we've got, <laughs> When we built this office, it sounds weird. Right? Like the when, when we built this office, we've uh, we built massive windows all the way down both sides of, the, of of this office, and I mean they go on and on and on and on and on, with the logic that that we want the the warehouse and the office to be a team that we work together, we're, we, so we can all see yeah. each other all the time, rather than there being people outside and people inside, and they don't really work together and stuff, you know. So. So you're always seeing each other yeah. and, and all, all day, which is lovely. I think yeah, it, it is nicely. really nice. Yeah. And you can do a bit of people watching as well. Yeah, you can, <laughs> yes, a bit of that. And see what everyone's up to. <laughs> right, so I've actually used another sheet from the little book. So I've 
I've just cut out the manger part. So, so what we're going to do now is I'm just going to take the double sided paper and I'm going to cut that to five by five inches. So now we'll go on to the card blank. So Christmas, I think Christmas cards are going to be so important this year. Oh, definitely are. I think possibly, you know, more than any other year in recent yeah. memory with, with, you know, with everything that's been going on, but, uh, and without, we, we've, we've, we're just unsure as to exactly what Christmas is going to hold from a, uh, from a going around and seeing people's yeah. people perspective. Yeah, it is. A, it's so important. It's an important time of the year, isn't it? It just is. For people to, whether you're religious or not, for people to get together, uh, people usually are off work at that time yeah. of year, or a lot of people are. Some and have to work, obviously. Spend it with families. Uh, but it's just nice being, yeah, spending time with families. It, it's um, we hope that we can all we can all do that this year. And if not, then you can write a lovely message in a card. Absolutely. It might not be quite the same, but at least they'll have a hunky dory card exactly. to show for it. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> right. So I've just stuck the double sided paper onto the card blank, and I'm just going to stick that top on on there as well. Now. I did think, oh, I need to put a sentiment on this. And I was like, that, that's too big to go on. So then I had, I had another look and I thought, oh, what I could actually do is cut out the words. So you've got wonder, peace and miracle. And I thought I could cut them out and I could stick them around the card. So I'm just going to use my cutter for this. Now, there isn't any really me measurement for this, just cutting it out so you can still read the word. So you're just going to cut them out. The card's so beautiful. I love the colours. Oh, I, I think, think this is my really, favourite really colour. They're really, really nice. Yeah. Very pretty. I don't know if pretty is the right word, but it is, isn't it? It is. It's especially like I love all the patterns in it as well. It's not just block colour in anything of it. So Tina has asked, will this member's gift be back in stock, please? No, it won't as a member's gift on its own. It is available in this Miracle of Christmas bundle here at 11 99 which includes those wonderful inserts, papers, bite-sized little book, and the adorable scrawl that we showed you earlier. But it won't be back in stock. Guys, when these are gone, they are gone. Uh, you, you need to keep your eyes on your emails because when we launch our club gifts, I mean, it goes mental. We have to yeah, send the email over a full 24 hours really because wow. if we don't the website just grinds to all the hamsters stop being able to run they need you know <laughs> we have to give them tablets and energy to get back on the hamster wheel and oh i don't know um yes yeah, so it's super super busy when we do launch them so please that's really shiny mirror that isn't it you can see your face there, <laughs> oh, um, there we go that's a good thing i don't think you'd that's want to see that <laughs> Yeah, guys, so when you, when you, when these do come out, grab them when you can. Uh, be first to grab them. Definitely. Right, so now I'm just going to stick these um, words onto the gold mirror. I'm just going to cut them round so when they go onto the card, they stand out a bit more. I'm going to stick these on with some foam pads. Just stick that one on. We've got wonder and miracle. Leslie Wells on YouTube says, it is great to see the real meaning of Christmas being celebrated in such a classy way. It is, isn't it? it? Is. And it is classy, this. Oh, look at that, look at that smile there from <laughs> Rachel. Good, she smiles, she smiles when she crafts. We saw you. Oh, I, I always smile. We saw you. <laughs> Claire Edwards says she always works Christmas Day and Boxing Day. She only ever gets New Year's Day off. Surprising oh, no. how many people go shopping on Christmas Day. Really? Wow. I guess that's because you, you get all, you do the big shop, don't yeah. you? Yeah. The really big shop, the really expensive shop, the one that you've you've saved all your nectar points for. <laughs> do, you, do you know what I mean? That <laughs> shop, yeah. And um, yeah, and it's still an absolute fortune. Yep. Oh, definitely is. Yeah, and then um, and there's always something you've forgotten. So there's always someone taking the dog for a walk and, yeah. and ended up at the uh, at the shop on Christmas morning, <laughs> isn't there? So guys, yes, remember that win it weekly question. We will remind you in a little while. Uh, but if you understand why people are saying I'd keep typing milk uh, as a comment, <laughs> uh, you will you will you will understand. Um, Right, so I've stuck them on. I've just stuck them on with a bit of tape. So there you go. And I that's think that's finished. really, really lovely. Thank well you. done, Rachel. So that's Thank Rachel's you. second card that she's made. Congratulations. Thanks. <laughs> right, so now we're going to head over to Moody 
Facebook news reader. <laughs> the hunky dory headline. Good morning and welcome to the Hunky Dory headlines. My name is Newsy McNews Reader. On Hunky Dory TV this week, there will be four shows for you, starting the week today with the craft show and a lovely craft along with the miracle of Christmas Club gift. A big thank you to Rachel for her lovely demonstrations. Tomorrow morning, it's a brand takeover, but which brand will it be? Join Stacey and Kelly at 10 a.m. to find out. On Wednesday 14th of October, there is a live launch with the wonderful new Stitch It Cutting Dies. Join Natalie and Stacey for that show. I think it will be so good. <laughs> and on Friday, it's Thankcraft is Friday and we will be spinning the wheel and announcing the winner of this, or winners of this week's Win It Weekly. News just in of a man who played tug of war with a pig and ended up with pulled pork. <laughs> And of a woman who makes smoothies so good, they make you think heaven is a place on earth. That's right, Blender Carlisle. Oh dear. Blender Carlisle. Hey. Oh dear. It's an age thing here. People at home falling off the chairs. Uh, stock updates. Premier Craft Tools. Rainbow Scissors will be back in stock in three weeks' time. Look out for the 2nd of November for those Rainbow Scissors. Prism Glimmer Mist, out of stock colours, Azure Sky, White Frost, Glamour Gold and Silver Dollar will be back in stock two weeks today. In other news, last week all the toilets were stolen from the local police station here in Preston. The police have just recently released an update, unfortunately they still have nothing to go on. <laughs> no? <Aww. laughs> and now it's time for this week's Thought of the Week. The best thing about the good old days is that we were neither good nor old. <laughs> I'm not old. Uh, <coughs> bald, but not old. Um, and that is the Hunky Dory headlines for this week. It's stamp a long time. Let's have a look at our stamps and see what we've got. Guys, there are three stamps available. Uh, in our For the Love of Stamps, uh, coordinating, I think is the right word, selection that go with the Miracle of Christmas. I think you're going to love these. They're full size A6 stamps, so if you look at the size there, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. And you can really colour into these. Now, I don't think we're going to demo one of these, are we? We're going to do another one with no, the kit. Yeah, we're going to do one with the kit. It's just time, I think, isn't yeah. it? But if you look at that, it's beautiful. There are three different designs available. These are still available, guys. Okay. Uh, normally £8, but they are on a three for two, so you can get all three for £16. Silent Night, that's beautiful there. And this one I think is very special. That's really special, yeah. that's lovely. Christmas yeah, that Blessings. Lovely. Okay, so that's Mary there. And you can, it's got that, those gorgeous flowers in her dress as well. Yeah, yeah, I can just imagine like cutting it out and using gold embossing powder on it. Oh, that would be and lovely. And then like that colouring the background. Classic. Oh, yeah. I think it would look so nice. I like that a lot. Okay guys, so these three are available and they are in the same place as the Club Gift on the website. So if you jump to the office section at the very top, you'll find there's, there's a, a banner there that says Hunky Dory Club Gift. Um, and we would like you to join our club. It is free to join our club and you have to be in the club to be able to get your free gifts. There will be a new free gift launching in a couple of weeks time. I'm very excited. I know the date. I'm not gonna tell you because it's a secret. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, shall we go across to my friend Rachel and see another demonstration from this beautiful collection? Right, so now I'm going to use, I'm actually going to use an 8x8 card. I'm going to use the um, printed card and the double-sided paper and also the adorable scoreable. So, um, first of all I'm going to cut up the, so I'm going to use the red because it matches so perfectly. And I'm going to cut that to 8x8. Eight eight. Yeah, I, I do love that one. I like the larger one as well. I think it, they're both yeah, really pretty, aren't they? Yeah, the background paper. I thought the... I, I mean, I absolutely love the larger paper, but I, I'm not going to cut anything out from it, so I thought, right, I'll save that one. Oh, that makes sense, because, yeah, yeah, because you'll, you'll cut out yeah, from that and use that it. for a card, right. So right. isn't this great? Even though you've got your free gift here, and 
really we should try and give away we've got because there's hardly any left we've got one here yeah we? maybe we can give that away um how do we do that emily we'll leave you to think about that <laughs> to work out how we can yeah so i've cut the double-sided paper to seven and three quarters i know that one <laughs> and then i'm going to cut the gold mirror to six and a half and if you really wanted to, you could actually cut a square into the double-sided paper so that you're not using it all for this one. It's really nice. This looks like the super high gloss mirror. There are two yeah. There are two sort of levels of mirror. What's the right word? Um, I'm not sure what the right word is, but there's there's the, the standard mirror, which is really reflective and a high quality. And Miri is the brand name. It's the branded product. And we only use uh, Miri here at Hunkadori. And then there's the, the Miri H, it's called, which I think is Miri, Miri High Sheen. But oh. I think that's the one that you've got there, which is, you know, it's like almost a mirror. Yeah, you know, you know, it's yeah. Incredible. It's, it's so very reflective. expensive, though, but it's, um, <laughs> but you keep it for your very special cards, I think. Expensive <laughs> stuff. Right, and so why not? Exactly. <laughs> So I've cut the, the printed card, so that's two notches below six and a half inches. So now I'm just going to take the large top here. Shelley Alden's a genius. What do we do with the gift that we've got here? We're going to pop it in the rollover box. Of course oh, we are. That's a good it idea. will be added to the rollover box. We'll put it back in its bag, pop it in the rollover box, uh, and somebody, hopefully, I mean, that rollover box is getting oh, bigger again now. It is. Do we know what we're up to? Do we know how many products we're up to? Oh, God, Top of your head? Over 10 now. 10. Yeah. Wow. Guys, so if you are joining us for the first time today, and welcome if you are, and of course welcome to our regular viewers, we love you all. Uh, if you are joining us for the first time today, we do, on a Friday, we have Thank Craft It's Friday, and we spin the wheel. So, you know the old school game show like, where, where, where they spin yeah. the wheel? It's so much fun. We spin it that wheel. It just looks so much it's fun. It's brilliant. Well, you'll have to do a Friday race. Yes, you'll be able to. Um, you'll be able to spin that wheel. It's so much fun. I'd probably knock it on the floor. And we have prizes. No, you won't. <laughs> we have prizes all around this this wheel, and one of the prizes is a rollover box. Okay. Um, and we're going to add something to the rollover box. We add something to the rollover box at the end of every single show, and that just stacks up and up and up yeah. until somebody wins it. Or until it just gets ridiculous, because no one, no one had won it for when we when we did our anniversary just recently. No one had won it for how long? It's like three months or wow, something. Wow, you know that's I mean? it. That's there some was, last stuff. There was three hundred quids worth of goodies in there. Really? Honestly, it was more than three hundred, wasn't it? Three hundred forty. Oh, yeah. I would love to have won that. So we had one winner who won that, and uh, you know, one very, very lucky lady. It was, um, it's brilliant. Now so that would have been. Christmas. We're hoping that people win this this rollover more often because we like giving stuff away, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. It makes people happy and you look forward to receiving it. Mm. Right, so I've just, I've took off the outside um, frame from the topper and I've stuck it onto the other side of the double-sided paper. And now I'm just going to put some foam pads on the inner topper and I'm just going to stick that into the middle. So, do you know what the notches were that you'd used for this? We just had a question. Um, for, so, so the red is 8x8, eight eight, and then the, the um, double-sided paper is 7 and 3 quarters, the gold mirror is 6.5, and, and then the printed is two notches below the 6.5. That makes sense. So, <laughs> six, 6 and a quarter, basically. Yes. Yeah. Well, no, so, it, it's in between six and a quarter and six and a half. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All oh, right. Okay. So it's it's only a little it's only a little border. And you're using our Premier Craft Tools uh, 12, 12 inch trimmer, which is a yes. cracking trimmer, isn't it? Yes. Oh, I absolutely love it. It's brilliant, uh, guys. Spare blades are back in stock for that trimmer. If you want that trimmer, it is available on our website uh, under Premier Craft Tools. You'll be able to find it. Right. So I'm just going to stick tape on all of these mats. So true, because I'm left-handed, I have to use the cutter the other way around. So oh. the, right, when I put out the handle, it, it normally gets in my way. Does it? So I have to keep on putting it back. It's strange. The world seems to be made. And I, I, I understand it. Right. I'm a lefty. You're, yeah. you're a lefty as well, aren't you? Yeah. Um, and I understand it because I think, what, what's the percentage of, of oh, left to right? I don't 
Is it ninety percent right or, or something like that? Yeah. So I understand that the world is is sort of made for you know, right handed people because because it's ninety percent of people, I suppose. But um, I, I can certainly understand the frustrations. And and there was there there's a shop, isn't there, that sells sells things like you know tin openers and everything for people with really with left, left, huh? yeah there was or there was, it was oh a, my god I remember when they when you know when I was younger <laughs> I remember being at school and I had, my, my best friend was left-handed and and um, yeah the shop opened up uh, and they sold things for left-handed people so oh, it was like everything amazing. the opposite way if that made sense yeah. um, so I think you can get stuff uh, whether they're still doing it or not so oh no they were oh no the I was a no they weren't <laughs> oh <Emily. laughs> I'm joking I'm joking. They used to do left-handed scissors in school. They never worked for me. No, nor me. I could never no. use them. <laughs> so I think you get used to using the right-handed ones. Like when you yeah. Have keyboards and everything. I type yeah. The right-handed one. Julie is a fellow Brummy and a lefty. Julie. Yay. Julie. Saxon. Julie has won. I can't say a surname for, for love and money, but Julie's won something really good before. I think, yeah, she wasn't has. she? I remember. Yeah. Um, Oh, Shelley Yarden says Ned Flanders left Orium. Yeah, so, was, right. is that, no, that's not what I was on about. It's <laughs> not, no, I, honestly, I haven't made it up. So it is I real. Promise. <laughs> but do you know what? Um, I bet that the percentage of people who are watching today uh, is just the same as the percentage yeah. of people at, at Hunky Dory here is higher because left-handed people uh, are often very creative. Yes. yes. They really, yeah. really are. I've, I've noticed that. Um, it's a, you know, so... Uh, Graphic designers, a lot of graphic designers are left-handed. Left you know. Yeah, well, ones that I've met. Doctors are though. Doctors mom, as well. My mum's a nurse, and she's never ever worked with a right-handed doctor. Wow. Really? In her thirty years. That's yeah, brilliant. Oh, wow. So it's you don't really think about it because everyone I know, apart from like like you and some other people, they, they are all right-handed. Yeah. I always get called like the witch. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I do as well. yeah. See, look, here we go. Sarah Keeble, I'm a lefty. Tracy McAvoy, I'm a lefty. Jackie Boo, lefty here. <laughs> Perfect. Um, so people are all those. lefties, yeah, it's brilliant. <laughs> right, so I've, I've stuck the topper onto there with foam pads and I've just put sentiment there. Now there's this little bit here that's, that I want to fill. So there's some, the circle little toppers there. So I'm just going to stick them there. And I'm going to put them on with foam pads. Tina Fletcher is cheating. I'm afraid Tina cheat. Uh, I'm going to call cheat here. She's a show oh. off. She's ambidextrous. Hey. Oh. Now we thought, my mum thought that I was ambidextrous when I was young, right? Yeah. Because I would do things the wrong way around. Yeah? So <laughs> uh, the wrong way around, you know what I mean? So when I set the table, I would always set the knives and forks for left-handed people rather than the other way around. Oh, wow. Yeah. I was not ambidextrous, I was just lazy, and I just put them where I put them, honestly. And it, so I, I, I carried on doing it for years. It was oh, brilliant. No. So she used to tell everyone I was ambidextrous when I wasn't. At least it made you sound, you know, more smart. It, it, it does, doesn't it? Isn't that yeah. lovely? Right, and there you go. I love that. Oh, I think that's so really thank nice. You. Yeah, another good one. Uh, okay, guys, here's what we're going to do. I want to remind you about our Win It Weekly question. And then we're going to go off piste slightly because we're going to do another demo. Wow. We're meant to be finishing in four minutes, but I think we can do another demo. Can we do another demo? It doesn't have to be super yeah. fast. We can roll over a little bit. We can go a little bit further. Let's do the Win It Weekly. Um, okay, so if you want to be in with a chance of winning one of five of these gorgeous True Blue collections. So Rachel made all these cards on the front for us uh, when this was launched earlier on this year. It's very, very pretty. Um, there we go, there's the kit. So this is just one sheet of the kit. There are 24 sheets in here. So there's eight topper sheets, uh, eight foiled sheets of cardstock, 350 GSM, the high quality that you expect, and eight printed. And Emily has just played with that, um, that camera shot there so that you can see it, beautiful. Finish the catchphrase, guys, if you want to be in with a chance of winning and comment with your answer too. Don't cry over spilt A, glue, B, wine, or C, milk. Now I would cry over all of those, I think, but that's because I'm feeling a bit emotional. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Okay, shall we go across to Rachel and let's see. So Rachel, what we did, this is a bit naughty really, because we said, Rachel, yeah. should we do three demonstrations? <laughs> Rachel said, yeah, let's do it. Okay, three demonstrations. No worry, I'll get three demonstrations ready, right? Now I said to Emily, 
might get four in here. And Emily went, well, we'll see. <laughs> and we reckon that we can get another one in. So Rachel, this is, she doesn't know what she's doing. We're going to, well, she does know what she's doing. <laughs> That's a terrible thing to say. Sometimes I know what. We're going to go and find out what she's going to do. Let's go across. Right, so I'm going to do a five by seven. Oh. <laughs> um, now, I, like, I really like this one, the oval shape. So I'm going to take that one out. So is it five by seven or is it seven by five? I always go by the lower number first, but ah, I, right. I have no idea whether that's correct or not. Yeah, so that, if, if it's portrait, that's a seven by five. But yeah. if it was landscape, then I suppose then you could say it's five by seven. Five right? by seven. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Right, so I'm just going to cut my gold mirror down. I think I can get it out of this sheet. Rachel Sharples has given us the answer, milk. Um, whether it's correct or not, I can't mm. say, but she said she would definitely be more upset of a spilt wine, though. Yes, yeah, I think I would definitely be. A lady upset. after my own heart. Especially if it's on the it's red. <laughs> yes. Red oh, no, you're red. No, no, I'm not. I'm just saying if you spilt red. Oh, if you spilt red. <laughs> Are you red or white? Wine. You don't like wine. Mm. Okay. Uh, Rachel, it, are you red or white wine? If you, it depends. If if you're gonna go for a meal, yeah, like an Italian, mm. then it has to be red wine. You're selling this to me. Where are we going? <laughs> I don't know. Somewhere in Italy. Oh wow! <laughs> I'm getting a holiday out of this. It's gonna be brilliant. Go on. What else are we doing? Um, I've no idea. Keep um, it clean. Keep it clean. <laughs> But um, but, if, Sorry, but if it's if it's anywhere else, then rosé wine. Rosé. Yes, especially if it's really like fruity. Oh. I don't, I don't like it too strong. Rosé is really quite in, I think, isn't it? Yeah. There's, yeah. there's been like a um, bit of an, a, an explosion in. Rosé. That's new. Rosé. Rosé. Ice. Frozen slushy. Oh wow. Rose wine. <laughs> Look, you're you're just making things up, Emily. <laughs> you are. It's what you've been making Frozen. on the weekend. Rosé. <laughs> Sounds good. That does sound really good. <laughs> we'll have a go. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you wouldn't get, keep getting that side on shot, Emily. <laughs> I've <I'll> put... <laughs> it's like... <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> a few too many. I, I ate the world this weekend. Oh, honestly. Friday night, Saturday, it crept into Sunday, it's oh. bad. Normally, Friday night's bad, Saturday's bad. Sorry, someone's ringing me. <laughs> oh, Sorry. Should I put them on? Yeah. No, I won't do. <laughs> um, yeah, so fri Friday's, Friday was bad, Saturday was bad. Normally, by Sunday, you know, be I'm good. behaving. Yeah, but I was not behaving one What, what was you actually eating? What wasn't I eating? Oh, okay. I, I, went, <laughs> I went and did the shop. Oh, no. no. Yeah, I went to the shop oh, when I was hungry. hungry. No. <laughs> when I was hungry. Oh. What have I done? And so I, I bought everything. We need to go back. We need to be watching Rachel making a card. <laughs> Guys, I bought everything. You name it, I bought it. It was, um, oh, I bought these little Christmas puds. I bought oh, oh. all the Christmas stuff's out. Yes, and all the Halloween chocolate as well. Right, so you tell me what's going to happen this year for Halloween. How's that going to work? I know, it is, it's quite sad. It is we, sad, really. We're doing a uh, drive-through scare, maybe. Oh, wow. Oh, really? You're in your car. Yeah. That, that, sounds, uh, that sounds quite cool. And Blackpool are doing a drive-in movie night for all classes. Oh. Blackpool are doing a drive-in movie night. That's quite a good idea, yeah. yeah. But I just wonder what's going to happen for the, for the kids. Like the that, I don't think they can really go trick-or-treating this year, can they? I don't no, think. No, I, I, I think that some places have banned it, but... I don't know, I think if you put some sweets like by your doorstep or something, I don't see the problem. Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see, we don't know. I mean, yeah. everything is a bit strange this year, everything's a bit different, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's it. We're learning to live with things, aren't we? And just have to have a Halloween party in the house. Mm. So you've put, ah, that's what you're doing. So yeah. you've, put the, um, you've put the the archway up to the left. That's it. And very nice. And I then like I, think I'm, I think I'm going to put the sentiment there. Oh, that's very nice. But I don't, I'm not sure because then you can't see the... The like little house things. Oh, I like it down at the bottom though. I think it's yeah. really nice. Yeah, it's smart that. Right, we'll do that then. It's very smart. Right, so I'm gonna put this on with foam pads. Yeah, Kathleen has has told me she's reprimanded me. Um, it's against all the shopping rules, Dan. You must eat before you go shopping. Yeah. It's so important. Oh, we bought but, these oh, cookies. It's so much. You, you know, you know. I don't know if you get them, but the cookies that you get in in the supermarkets that are the fresh baked ones. They're oh, always at the front yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
and there are four of them. There used to be five, right? I noticed this. Don't think, <laughs> don't think I didn't notice this, Sainsbury's. Yeah, they used, <laughs> used, they used to be five in that packet, and there's four now, and it's still the same price. I, I clocked that, and they've not got any bigger. Don't give me any of that. They didn't get any bigger. And uh, I was uh, with my little boy Ellery, so we had the, we had two each from oh. my home. Oh, it was naughty! <laughs> it was so naughty. At least you can share them evenly then. Well, yeah. I, I, well, it was it was, <laughs> it was almost <laughs> yeah, that's true. It was almost <laughs> even, but he had part of his on, on his on his knee, sat there, and I nabbed it. Oh was, no! He wasn't that's looking. So I had about two and a quarter. Oh. <laughs> right. So I've just put some gems just there, and there you go. Nice simple card. I think it's really lovely. Thank you. Thank you very much, Rachel. Thank you very much. Emily's just woken up again. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, Benisa, this is a gorgeous kit. Planning to make a card for everyone at my village church this year, as I probably won't be able to see them on Christmas Day this year. It is very sad. Um, British Legion aren't allowed to sell poppies this year. It's very sad, but that's why card making uh, and paper crafting is ever so important. And that's yeah. why what we're doing with our Hunky Dory TV and the engagement that we get with you guys and spending some time together, we're really, really enjoying it. Um, guys, okay, so the Miracle of Christmas bundle, the miracle, miracle of Christmas kit, the club gift has now all gone. Congratulations if you got yours. Many, many thousands of you did. Uh, the Miracle of Christmas bundle, uh, $11.99, is still available, but not for very long. It will go in the next few days, I'm sure. Uh, and we will be looking at a new kit in a couple of weeks' time. So, what do I need to tell you? There will be one or two things here. Ah, oh, there we go. Win it weekly, don't forget, if you want to be in with a chance of winning the True Blue Collection, which is here on fr uh, Friday at 10 a.m. show. Thank Craft It's Friday. We'll be giving away five of these during the show. We'll also be spinning the wheel that we talked about earlier on. You just finished the catchphrase, don't cry over spilt. Is it glue, wine or milk? Pop a comment down into the comments uh, and then we'll do this all the way through the shows this week and five people will be picked who have commented on one of our shows or indeed on the Hunky Dory Hub. We are going to add a product to the rollover box and it is, how very pretty, the Floral Fancy Moonstone Cutting Dies. So these are £9.99 collection of dies. Lovely, that's going to go into the rollover box and again that might be one this Friday. There's some great prizes on that rollover wheel, uh, on that rollover wheel, the spin it wheel, and that spin the wheel will be changed at some point soon. Probably next time someone wins the rollover, I think we'll have a real big shake yeah. up and change all the prizes up. I think that'll be fun. Um, our next uh, Hunky Dory TV show, ooh, TV schedule, Friday 19th of October at 9am with Sheila for our all new Everlasting Memories collection. Mm. Did you know we actually have no shows on Create and Craft this week? Oh wow. Did you know that? No. I think that's the first time that, ever that yeah. we've had no shows. I don't, it's just how it's landed I suppose, it's really odd. Yeah. Um, but you can of course join us here at Hunky Dory TV on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Friday this week at 10 a.m. Uh, and our next Hunky Dory TV show uh, here on Facebook and on YouTube. Moonstone Dies are taking over the studio tomorrow at 10 a.m. with Kelly and Stacey. Uh, can we just go across to Rachel and say thank you very much for joining us, thank Rachel. Thank you. Thanks for having me. It's been our pleasure. And yeah. thank you for the lovely cards that you've thank made for you. us today in our craft along. Uh, and we look forward to having you back again sometime soon. Please yes. do join us. Yeah, hopefully soon. It is goodbye from me. Have a wonderful day. And we shall see you tomorrow. And it's goodbye from my friend Emily also. Bye. Bye.